I'm Tara Tiara. I moved to New York City to pursue a acting career. I did a two-year conservatory, Shakespeare Conservatory, where they taught me just everything that I learned. My castmates, um, they're adequate for people who haven't been properly trained at the Shakespeare Conservatory. So Lola and Tim. Oh. Hi. Hey. Oh, you're doing your interview. Oh, awesome. Hi. Hi. You guys are so fabulous. Thank you. We're going to go in to make a movie out in just a minute. Okay. Bye. Bye. God, they can be such a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Everyone knows I am Tim Moss. I bring substance and class to Comedy Sex Show. Well, it's not like I had to audition for this. I was approached, as I normally am, for roles. But I thought, oh, comedy, sex, show. Oh, that is so beneath me. But I decided I wanted real spaghetti. I was tired of Chef Boyardee. I am a very accomplished singer and vocalist. I have a five and a half octave range. Just call me Mariah Moss. Honestly. I just need to pay for my kids' college. That's the only reason why I took this job. I just really don't get the whole acting thing. You know, like, Tara's always talking about Shakespeare, and, you know, like, she's so well-trained, and, and Tim with all his, like, fancy-schmancy, I'm an entertainer bullshit. Like, honestly, I just come in and... I kill it, honestly. Like when I when I go in there, I, I just I, I kind of fucking just take over and I'm really good at what I do. These fuckers spent years and tons of money to be actors. Nah. I'm from East Flatbush. I'm good. I get requests all the time for my acting skills and to be in people's plays and, and memes and gifts on Facebook. I know being trained as a Shakespearean actress, a lot of people think I'm snobby, but it's not true. I am a kind, generous, very polite all the time. God damn it, where's the makeup chick? I ordered my coffee like three, three minutes ago and she's still not back. Bitch. Like, I'm not as fancy as Tim and Tara. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm like really, I'm really more down to earth. I'm probably actually the coolest one here, to be honest with you. Oh crap. I think it's another Lola purge. Lola period purge. She always comes in pissed off. I don't understand her. She's always on her period or something. Yes, I am male. And yes, I am gay. And I don't understand this whole women's menstruating period thing. But Lola, my God. How many days out of the month is she on her period? Can you be like 28 days in a row? Shit! I didn't want to do the interview in the first place. I have to pick my kids up at two. So as we're preparing for a role, Tara, of course, in her Shakespearean way, is always coming at us with, oh, you have to do this and think about the feet and do this. And then all the time, I'm always giving them advice. And I think, they usually like it. They've never, like, dissed me on Facebook or anything about it. So I think I'm okay. As well, Tara, who went to the Shakespeare Conservatory, is always trying to tell me how to act, how to feel. Well, I already know. And Lola, she always just smiles whenever I give her the advice, so I know that she really likes it. And you look at Lola and she's just smiling. Lola always smiles. I think she, I think she smiles. I know it's smoky shit! You know what? Working with Tara and Tim can be a little bit hard. I already have three fucking kids. I don't need two more. And I constantly have to pick up after them. I always have to tell them, listen, put your clothes back on. How about that? You know, this is television. We're not shooting porn. It's, it's a lot of work and it's stressful. And sometimes I just need to smoke. And Tara, she thinks that all of her acting comes from, from all of these years of, of training and, and studies, when in actually it comes from a bottle. Bitch always comes in here drunk off her ass. And it's not even Dom Perignon or any kind of nice champagne. It's that cheap-ass apple cider from the corner bodega. 
would say my favorite character that I've played on comedy sex show, side of myself, would be probably the meth head. Um, these guys talk about method acting. I have meth head acting. <laughs> so on one side, we've got Lola, who is the meth head actor. And then on the other side, we've got the drunken Tara, Shakespearean Tara. And then there's me, the sane one in the middle. I don't know why they don't utilize my glorious singing voice more than what they do. They should really use my singing voice, I'm telling you. I can do opera. <laughs> See? Oh, my outfit? Oh, yes, well, you know, the matching. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, it's all, you know, Christian Lacroix. <laughs> of course. Only the best for me. Who am I wearing? My own design. Yes, I sew, bitches. What am I wearing? Obviously, like a hoodie, and it's laundry day, dude. I'm wearing my clothes. Well, let's just say I'm the only one with a penis, a real penis, on Comedy Sex Show. Yeah, Lola is a dom. Yeah, sometimes she's even more of a man than I am. And I've seen her penises. They're bigger than mine. Where's my dildo? <laughs> a masterpiece. See how I did that? So I like a lot of lime, <laughs> lemon drops. These bitches are lucky I'm here. And then when I did the makeup, I was set. I realized that I was the best deer ever. Um, they're a little full of themselves sometimes. Me? Nah, I'm not full of myself at all. I'm fucking awesome. Oh, next season is is amazing. We have so many incredible, incredible sketches and discussions and and entertainment for you that's coming. Um, actually, we haven't shot them yet, but they will be amazing. <laughs>